Sassy Serene. Today we're going to be doing some racks of ribs. So right now our ribs have the membrane taken off of them. And I have this fillet, this fillet, fillet knife that my dad made. And I'm just poking little holes in the meat so the the marinade can get into that patch and make it look real nice. Make it taste real nice and look good. We're going to do it to all these and then we're going to dry rub them with some dirt. And if they're not the color of Georgia clay, they're not ready. So we're gonna put a bunch of dirt on it and we got some grilling gold and then it'll be time to eat. So let's get to slathering them some dirt. And don't be afraid to put too much on it because you need the color of red Georgia clay dirt or it's not ready yet. So now that our ribs, I gotta put in this last little layer. And you see how we mean we gotta put a bunch of dirt on it? It's the color of red Georgia clay. If it's not, we don't want it to be like sandy. We want it to be Georgia clay. So now, I'm gonna just wash my hands off a little bit. I'm gonna put some grilling gold on there. The grilling gold gives it moisture and it tenderizes the meat a whole lot more. Let me just get all this little crusty stuff off my hands. Here we go. Got my grilling gold. I have it in this little Worcestershire bottle. This little jugger on the top, so it's easy to jug in. So I'm gonna flip them over. Then, since we have three racks in here, I'm gonna just flip these over. And do it again. Looks like a guy just more no grilling gold. So we got all this grilling gold here. Got it back here. We got it there. It should be good. So the ribs have been there marinating. You can see what color they are. And we're gonna lay them out on our water pan. We're gonna put some apple cider vinegar. We'll put some apple cider vinegar and water under them. Then we have our ribs on our pan. We'll just lay the others on it. Then we're gonna put apple cider vinegar and water into the into the bottom of it so it makes it nice and moist and it tenderizes. So now I've got our grills and I want to see how it's doing. Whoa, that's looking nice. So usually we would use applewood chunks, but today we have pearwood pieces from our pear trees outside that some of the branch kept, branches kept falling off. Alright, so I'm gonna put it on. It'll give it the meat a nice smoky flavor. Just like that, then that'll start burning and it'll start smoking up since it's green wood and it'll give the meat a nice good flavor. Alright, so now we're going to put our plate setter on because we want to cook these ribs on indirect heat. We don't want them directly on the heat because with all everything we have on there is in, has a really high sugar content. But when we do this, basically it turns into a little convection oven. Well, then we'll have my grill. Well, my dad's grill, but we'll have it here. Set that on right there. Let's try to get hot. So we got our ribs on the grill in our little water pan, and we put a mixture between apple cider, apple cider vinegar, and water in the bottom of it. And we actually got one extra rib than we needed, so we adapted to overcome with those skewers, so we stood it up. And we kind of need a rib rack. If y'all want to see this one, go ahead. I don't care. <laughs> but this is how we adapted to it, and let's let it cook. All right, guys. So it's come time to start crunching our meat. So we got our ribs. Get way up under there, so like this. Pick it up. And bring it over onto this piece of paper. So I'll turn to the side. I got my dirt, I'm gonna put a little bit on it. Just like that. Take the tongs. Like it way up under there again. Just flip them over. I'm gonna put a little bit more dirt on this side. Then I'm just gonna pull these ends up and both these sides up. Just like this, 
Then I'm gonna put some drilling gold on it. Just get some moisture in there. Now, I'm gonna wrap it up just like this. And there's our crutch. Put it right back on here. Now I'll do the rest of them. And I'm gonna let them cook the rest of the way. All right guys, it's time to decrutch our meat. So we have a representation here of one that we've been. So I'm just gonna unwrap this, this tinfoil, yeah, our crutch. Then the tinfoil actually keeps in all the moisture. It makes the, the meat really tender and just amazing. And we put a little bit of grilling gold in there so it gives it a good flavor too. I'm just gonna put a little grilling gold on there. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna flip it over. I mean, it's just spreading. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take it and flip it over. That tastes good. Use your tongs. Where are my tongs? Yeah. Let me use the tongs. Just gonna pick it up, barely pick it, pick it up. Ow! <laughs> Stupid bone. Casey and Beats are gonna love me tonight. Right there. A little harder than expected. Now we're coming here. Then we're gonna put a little bit more dirt on it. Then we're gonna set it back on the grill. Alright. So now we got them decrutched. We're gonna we're gonna put a little bit of grilling gold on it and some dirt and let it go for about 30 more minutes to get the bark we want. Gotta apply this liberally. It's really good. And it's got a high sugar content that will give us that bark. And we also have dirt that's, that's got a lot of sugar, a high sugar content that will give it a nice bark too. Just like this. Then we're gonna let that cook for about 30 minutes and time to eat. All right, guys, I think it's t finally time for the ribs to come out. Woo, look at that. So many people go for tenderness than more of a texture, but a lot of people can make something tender, but they can't make it with a good texture. So right here we have it with our grilling gold and our dirt on it. And, and oh my gosh, look at, look how, look at this, and the bark. Mm -mm. All right, time to pull everybody. Take this, and get under it, put that right there, put that right there, look at my fingers as I go. Take this, lay that down there, okay. Now, our ribs are down. Our. So guys, y'all can give me a follow on Country Boy Reed on Instagram, and I have a YouTube channel, Reed Briggs, on YouTube, and see y'all next time.